All right, I hope you enjoyed the video about Nutley going on his big adventure and his learning the difference between needs and wants. It's a good thing the professor was there to help him. <clears throat> so let's talk about Nutley. Nutley had that big backpack all ready to go on his adventure. He had two things in there that he thought were needs. Do you remember what those two things were? <clears throat> right, one was that pair of green shoes and then the, or slippers, he called them slippers, and then was his big hat, right? And what did the professor call those things? He said they were wants, very good, they were wants. And then he went on to remind Nutley what are needs, and needs are those things that we need in order to survive, to live and grow. And we've been talking about needs this week for both plants, animals, and people. And we've said that those needs is a pattern, food, air, water, and shelter. And it has to happen over and over and over again. Exactly. So I think Nutley learned the difference between a need and a want. What I wanna do right now is we're not gonna work in our science workbooks because I actually decided and I changed my mind. And so we're gonna have a little lesson and then we're gonna do something in our copy books about needs, okay? Needs and wants, needs and wants, okay? All right, because he definitely talked about how needs were those things that in order to live and grow, and we've been talking about them that we need. Wants are those nice to have things like those green felt, slippers that Nutley wanted to take with him or that really silly hat that he had. He didn't need those to survive, but he wants them and that's okay too. But understanding the difference between a need and a want is a very important skill. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you a couple questions and I want you to tell me whether you think it's a need or a want and listen to how I ask the question so you understand exactly what I'm asking, okay? All right, so if someone is eating a sandwich, is that sandwich helping them to live and grow? Yes, it is. So that is a need. That is a need. It's helping the person to live and grow. Very good. All right. You see someone using markers to color a picture, okay? Are those markers helping that person live and grow? They are not right. They might be helping them do their work, but are they helping them to live and grow? No. So are the markers a need or a want? They are a want at that point. Very good. If you take that marker away from that person, they might be upset, but are they gonna stop living and growing? No, they're not. So it's a want. All right. This is a hard one for Mrs. Rooney because you'll understand when I tell you this. Books. You see people reading books. Are those books a need or are they a want? I love to read, but if someone took my books from me, am I going to stop living and growing? No, it'll be painful, but I'm not gonna stop living and growing. So books, would they be a need or a want? Very good, books would be a want, okay? I see someone drinking water. Is that water helping them to live and grow? Yes, it is, very good. That water is helping them to live and grow. If I were to take that water away from them, would they live and grow? No, they would not. So, is water a need or a want? Water is a need, very good. All right, now for animals, the same thing. Do animals need or want food? They need food, very good. Do animals need or want water? They need water, very good. Does a lion or another animal need air or want air? They need air, very good. Do animals need shelter or do they want shelter? They need shelter, very good. It's very important to understand the difference between need and want. Animals, people, and plants need 
air, food, water, and shelter in a continuous pattern. They need to have them happening again and again and again. They can't just want them, they need them. Do I need new sparkly shoes? I might want them, but I don't need them to live and grow. Do I need air though? Yes, I do. I need air. It's not just wanting it. I need air to live and grow, okay? So what we're gonna do is I decided instead of working in our science workbooks, I thought that this was a really important lesson because I think it's really important to understand the difference between needs and wants. We've learned this week, there are four things we need in order to survive. Air, food, water, and shelter. Four things. There are a lot of things in our world, but it comes down to we need those four things to live and grow, okay? So what we're gonna do today in our copybook, and I thought this would be very interesting, is I'm gonna turn you, and I'd like you to get out your copybooks, okay? And just like we always do, at the top of our copybook page, we're gonna write the dash, or the dash, we're gonna write the date. We're gonna write four dash 16 dash 20 20. And then you're gonna draw a line down the middle. You know how to do that. And on this side, I want you to write the word need. Mm, two E's, mm, eed, a D at the end, okay? Need, and then on this side, I want you to write want, okay? Need, want, okay? On this side, under need, I want you to think about something that you had today of those four things that we need. One of those four things that we need. We talked about them. Air, food, water, shelter. One of those things that you need. And I want you to draw one that you used today. Okay, you, probably, you had to have used all four, but choose one that you needed today, okay? On this side is a want. And remember how Nutley took his green shoes and that hat with him on his adventure because he wanted to? I want you to think about something that you wanted today and draw a picture of it on this side. And show me that you know the difference between something that you need and something that you just want. So everybody's gonna have one of the four things on this side for need. What I'm looking for is on this side, something that you want. So when you share on Flipgrid, I'm going to see something that you needed today, and you're gonna share with us something that you wanted today so that you can show me the difference, like Nutley learned, the difference between a need, those four needs, and a want, okay? I'm looking forward to seeing that on Flipgrid. All right, good job, friends.